Uh, no, just watch. So, page 14. So, example of question 1. So, question 1, part I. Is 3 an element of the natural numbers? Is 3 a natural number? So, you just have to go true or false? True. Another example. Is... This is number um, VII. No. Is... A six. Two and three eighths an element of the real number? Yeah, yeah real numbers include everything. Yeah. Decimals, fractions, everything. Just true. True. Uh, okay, here's another example. Uh, better do it for you. VI I. It is a square root and that's a seven. Seventeen. Seventeen. Is that is that a real number? Uh, yes. Yeah. Because when you get everything's the, up. Yeah, everything included in the real numbers. So if you get the square root of seventeen. And you bet S D it's four point one two three. Decimals are included in real numbers. So uh, yeah, true. Okay, that's question one. Um, question two, we'll just do part one. And you have to put the symbol in the box. So you have to put a greater than symbol or a less than symbol. So what fits in there? Six is greater. Six is greater. Six is greater. This is the greater than side, this is the less than side. Right, that's question two. Question three. Uh, write a mathematical sentence, so a bit like a, uh, the previous uh, exercise. X is less than 4. Watch. X is less than 4. X is less than 4. <coughs> write the mathematical equation. And there's one here. 2 is greater than minus 3. 2 is greater than minus 3. Okay. So, what about three? Sorry? Three. Part 3. The speed limit is S is 40 kilometers from now. So the speed limit S is 40 kilometers per hour. So the limit, so you can't go any faster. Okay, so S is, you have to, less than, can you go less than 40 miles an hour? Can you, can you go 40 miles an hour? Yeah. Okay, so S is less than, so it's less than what? Less than or equal to, S is less than or equal to 40, 40 kilometers per hour. All right. We'll go on to question four. Okay, so in question four, in, at the beginning it says x is an element of n. What does that mean? All the answers are natural numbers. Yeah. All right. Uh, state the values x may have. So for i, x is less than four. So in the beginning it says x and element, all the answers are natural numbers. So state all the answers that we can have. So we'll, this is another way of stating the answers. So instead we could draw a number line and show the answers on the number line like we were doing. And what are the answers? So, yeah. So we, we could draw it. One, two, three, four, five. What are the answers? X is less than four. Here's another way of writing the answers. One, two, three, in curly brackets. Okay, so that's part I. Um, four part V, four part V. X is greater than or equal to one, and X is less than or equal to four. Okay, so X is greater than or equal to one, so it includes one. 
It's greater than x is less than 4 and equal to 4. Right, so what are the answers? Curly brackets. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. So you can write down the answer by drawing a number line. Yeah. Or you can write it by putting the answers in curly brackets. Okay, like that. That's question four. Um, question five. Straight away in question five it says all the answers are integers. Plus or minus numbers. And number one. Well, it says if x, is a, if x is an element of z, so all the answers are integers. So x is greater than or equal to minus 2, uh, and x is less than or equal to 1. So if we drew a number line, which is always a good idea, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, x is equal to 2, that's the first thing, x is equal to 2, remember natural numbers are integers, you get dots, looking up, now where do I stop, x is equal to 1, x is equal to 1, and x is less than 1, ok, so what are the answers, so I can write the answers like this, x is equal to minus 2 I can write the answer like that on the number line or like that ok alright we'll do question 5 we'll do another one like that alright that's one x is greater than Minus two and a half. X is less than three and a quarter. In Z, in integers, uh, you, d you don't include halves or quarters, do you? But X is greater than, where's minus two and a half? Two and here. And X, three, minus two and a half is here. X is greater than minus two and a half, so we can include minus two. Right, this, there's minus two and a half. We can include minus one. X is less than three and a quarter. Three and a quarter is roughly here. <coughs> yeah. So do you just pick like a random? Just a, a no, all the whole numbers in between. See, there's two and a half. There's three and a quarter. All the numbers in between. So minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three. So the answers are, all the answers for x are minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three. Do you understand that one? That's a tricky one. It just means, right, all the answers are greater than minus two and a half. There's minus two and a half. They're greater than. All the answers are less than three and a quarter. There's three and a quarter. All of those answers. Do you just make an estimate for three and a quarter? Yeah. On the line. Yeah, exactly. 